Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing a little bit about how you can use some tricks in LibreOffice Writer. I am running Ubuntu 13.10 and I'm going to open up a word processor file that I've got cooking right here. By the way, this is what I am recording right now using Screencastor, the desktop screen recording program from France. It's a very excellent one. You can see the icon up here in gray showing that I am recording. I'm going to open up this word processor file. It's an ODT file and I'm going to reference this gedit file. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks, just a couple of small items, a minute or two. This is a word processor file and I've got it up on the screen, full screen, and I'm going to talk about the view. Now if I put it on print view, the print view shows what we would have if we were looking at the header and the margins and if I put it on web layout view it gets rid of the header and the margins and that's very advantageous because it has reflow in fact let me show you how that works I'm going to hit control alt 4 and use compass to make this a half screen and do you see how everything reflows I mean I'm not missing any words that are running off to the right and to show this even better, I'm going to go back to view and go to zoom. And right now I've got it on page width. No, what, what have I got on? Let me just put it on 100%. That'll make the font different size. You can reorder the size of the font to anything that you want to. In fact, let me go control alt 8 and put it on the top half of the screen. And then when I page down, you can do all kinds of stuff like that or if I go control alt 5 it's going to go full screen and it's going to show everything no runoff to the right but it's going to be a smaller font so let me just change the font again to something that I can see more easily and let's see uh, we're going to go view zoom and let's make it really big 200 percent and 200 percent makes a good size font well that's pretty nice. I like that. Let's say that you want to have um, the word count. Well, you can go up here and get the word count in Tools and just hit Word Count. And a little window pops up and it says I've got 19,000 words. Well, that's not too much trouble, but what if you wanted the word count all the time? You can do this. Uh, the way you do this is to change the view back to showing the header in print layout and when you show the header there is a problem in that it shows the margins and it shows the header but it does show anything that you've got in the header and I've got the word count up here in the header let me make the screen such that it shows only what is on the entire page and that makes a really tiny little page. You wouldn't want to type this way. In fact, if you were ever going to, to do this, you might change it in such a manner that the uh, view is zoomed in for page width. And that's better. It shows the entire width of the page. It does show the margin, but it also shows the header, and it shows the end and, the end and the beginning of each page. I have got the word count up in the header. Let me remove that and I'll show you how you get that. You go up here to insert fields and you look for it. Now you could put in page number and page count. You could put in page and then write in the word of and then put in the page count. But what we want to do is get the word count and I hit other and it just ziggle zaggled. I have to do it again. Insert fields other and I go to statistics and words and then Arabic and then insert and I did it twice. I think I'm gonna get it in there two times. Yes see I have it in there twice so I go backspace now it's in the center I don't want it in the center so I go to format and then I go to paragraph 
and since I'm in a, a paragraph I want to go alignment and I'll go left and then I hit OK and now it's over here more to the left it is actually indented the way a paragraph is and I can get rid of that also let me please show you one other thing that you can do I don't know why you'd want to do this uh, all the time or anything but it's just kind of a neat little trick I'm going to now go to the end and let's say you're writing a letter and you want to put in your return address now in a prior video I showed how you could do that by hitting tools and autocorrect option and you could make yourself an autocorrect for the address and I've also I've got my real address and I've got a fake one in here called home address and I'm just going to put in the fake home address and the code for it is dot h a and when I hit enter it puts in this fake name and address there's another way you can do this and the other way you can do this is to insert an entire file and I made an entire file that is a home address file and I have to go down here to insert and file and the way you can hit this also is just to hit F4 I'm down here already so let me just hit it and here's the address right here and but before doing so let me show you again how to do that with an F4 uh, see where my cursor is now I'm just gonna hit F4 and I'm just gonna type in this address file that's the name of the file and it just puts in that address or whatever I have had typed in and saved at that file now speaking of F4 how about F2 F2 is one that allows you to get sort of a poor man's calculator going six times uh, let's see I'm gonna go uh, let's see six eight I'm not doing my calculator right let's see equals six minus well I screwed up my calculator let me start it off again F4 oops I'm sorry F2 and it's equals and I'm going to go six oh I had my number lock turned off sorry six minus three and then I'll go times eight and then hit equals and there's there's your answer uh, I don't know why you'd want to do that all the time or anything you can just pop up your calculator also these are just a couple of little tips that you can do here's another one let's say for instance that you are uh, changing your mind about the uh, whether or not it's lowercase or uppercase right click change case uppercase change your mind right click change case capitalize every word you can do all sorts of things like this if you study how to use LibreOffice writer my name is pop and I've got a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics and I thank you very very much